everyone, my name is Miss Velvet. In my previous blog post, I've shared with you three reasons on why you should be reading non-fiction. Some of these reasons include having increased concentration levels and becoming a better communicator. There are many non-fiction books that you can pick up. Some of them include information books about science, such as plants and the human body. Some books are even about space. Others include magazines like Reader's Digest and Young Scientists. I'm sure you have seen some of them around. If you have been enjoying our content, do remember to like and subscribe. Today, I'll be sharing with you more about how to read non-fiction books more effectively. Compared to fiction, reading non-fiction books requires a different set of skills altogether. So, I hope that the tips I share in this video will help you to make the most of what you are reading. Firstly, how do you choose which non-fiction text to read since there are millions of titles out there? Just like how you select storybooks, you may wish to select a non-fiction text based on your current interests. You may be reading some mystery novels at this point and you may be wondering what detectives and police do. Therefore, you can start embarking on non-fiction by selecting books about law enforcement. Another way of selecting a non-fiction text could be as easy as walking down the aisles of a library and selecting whatever catches your eye. Open the book up and browse through the synopsis found at the end of the book. Then, ask yourself if you are interested in reading further. Next, you should familiarize yourself with the different parts of a non-fiction book. First, take a look at the contents page. It will give you a clear idea of what the book will cover. When you are considering to buy or borrow a book, you should take a look at the contents page. See if it will provide you with any information you seek or interest you in any way. You can also look at the index. This is an alphabetical list of almost everything that's covered in the book. It is accompanied by page numbers. Again, this will help you to understand the content covered in the book. Also, while reading the book, you can always use the index to look up specific terms and concepts. You can then go right to where the specific information is located. Once you have decided on the book, make yourself comfortable. Settle down on a comfortable chair or a sofa. Have a hot cup of drink with you. Personally, I like to drink hot tea or a cup of hot chocolate with marshmallows. While reading, do use the following tips to help you navigate your text. Read the headings and subheadings to help you embark on the prose. To help with comprehension, Consider asking yourself the different types of paragraphs which you have just read. Ask yourself what types of paragraphs there are. Did you come across a compare-contrast structure? Or perhaps a problem-solution structure? At the end of each chapter, ask yourself what you have learned to check on your own understanding. You can also try summarizing the chapter in your own words. See if you have understood the gist of what you have read. In addition, take a look at the visuals in your non-fiction book. These could include some photographs, pictures, charts, and even some graphs. You might be able to put your mathematical knowledge to use here as you study the graphs and the charts. The visuals in a non-fiction text can help you to understand the content better. Also, they can help you to relate what you are reading to a real-life context. Imagine looking at a forensic scientist's kit. Or it could be a policeman's baton in a book about law enforcement. You can definitely learn a lot by looking at these visuals. Last but not least, non-fiction texts are a great source of vocabulary. As such, you should consider keeping a vocabulary notebook with you as you read. This is so that you can write down interesting vocabulary words and remember them. You can also look up the meaning of the words that you are not familiar with and put them in your notebook later. 
Wow, I trust that you have just learned that non-fiction text can be read very effectively, especially if you take it slow. Now, do you have your selected non-fiction text with you? How about a nice warm cup of drink? Happy reading!